the School of Aquaponics. Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the first episode of Ask the Aquaponics Guy, where we're going to answer a lot of the common questions that are out there. Um, we're going to help a lot of the beginner aquaponists out there who are trying to get started, get their feet wet in this wonderful practice of aquaponics. And we're just going to clear a lot of things up, answer a lot of questions, and prevent people from becoming a biscuit-headed aquaponist, meaning somebody who's just out there doing whatever they want and not sticking to any of the guidelines that nature has set in place, physics has set in place, chemistry has set in place. They're just doing whatever they want to do. I was a biscuit-headed aquaponist um, back in the day when um, I didn't have any experience, just out there experimenting with all types of things here and there. So. Um, we're here to prevent that from happening and allow a lot of people to have access to information about aquaponics. So um, without further ado, we're going to get into the first question from Jarrett out of Cleveland. I'm interested in starting my own aquaponics farm, and I want to know which part of aquaponics is most difficult to learn. So to answer this question, it's really going to depend or it's really going to rely on one main factor, and that factor is how much experience you have how much background you have in the various aspects of aquaponics. In aquaponics, we have um, certain things such as fish management, you got uh, plant management, you have nutrient management, water quality management, um, building, engineering, construction, designing. You have these different various aspects that all um, are comprised together to come up with aquaponic, the aquaponic method of farming. So it's really gonna depend on what your background is. So if you're someone who has a background in biology and uh, a chemistry or, or, or any one of those sciences, then the plant, uh, the, the plant portion is not going to be uh, a problem to you. It's not going to be something that's difficult. You're probably going to have an easy time understanding concepts of plant development, or you're already going to know it already. If you have a background in biology, you should already have a good grasp on plant biology or, or plant development and its um, role in developing. So that shouldn't be an issue to you. But let's say, for instance, you don't have a background in building. Maybe you don't have a background in uh, uh, construction or even designing. This is going to be a challenge to you, or this is going to be the biggest challenge to you. Not to say that it's going to be just necessarily a challenge, but it will be the biggest challenge to you because you don't know. You, you have to learn. Um, you have to learn how to use a hammer. You have to learn how to nail. You have to learn how to use a drill. I mean, if this is something foreign to you, then obviously it's going to be the biggest challenge to you. Like, for instance, I'll give an example of myself. For me, the biggest challenge was the building portion because I had never lifted up. I'm from the city. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where I was raised at. I never lifted up a hammer in my life. Never drilled anything. I mean, no, nothing to do with anything like that in my life. So building was something that I had to learn and had to get acquainted with. And this is something I'm glad, I'm super glad that I tackled this portion of aquaponics first because it was the biggest challenge for me. I had to learn how to use a circular saw, learn how to use a, um, a jigsaw, learn how to drill. I had to learn how to do a variety of things that you don't learn growing up in the city. You don't really learn these type of trades growing up in the city unless you have like a, a trade job that requires that. But um, for the most part, I didn't have any, I mean, I come on, I didn't even have a, I didn't even use a hammer Till I was like 21, 22, man. So this was the biggest challenge for me. I had to learn it and I learned it. I had the will to win. That's one thing I had the will to win. So if I, I found aquaponics very interesting. So what I did is I went out and learned. I said, let me learn how to, let me go and buy. I went and purchased circular saw, jigsaws, and I just start uh, watching other videos, finding out how to use them. And what did I do? I applied it. Now I'm an aquaponic guy. And it's, you can be the same thing. All you have to do is apply. So it really doesn't matter what aspect is um, going to be the most challenging. What matters is how much effort are you willing to put in to learn or, or to master that aspect. So you can become an aquaponic guide as well. It's not really, I mean, everything takes time. A lot of, time, a lot of times there's a learning curve that we all have to go through. And, and that's just what happens. But it's also um, pleasant on the other side when you learn it. Then it becomes like, you know, just becomes like walking. Some easy to do. It's not really a challenge now. So to answer your question, it really depends on the background you have. If you have a background in construction, this is easy. Building tanks, um, putting in um, a pond liner, um, anything like that. That's going to be PVC pipes, gluing pipes together, 
configuring the pipes, plumbing out glass tanks, plumbing out plastic tanks, that's gonna be easy for you. It's not gonna be a problem. But then you're gonna have to learn, if you don't have a background in biology or chemistry, now you're gonna have to learn the nutrient management and the plant development. So that might be the, long, the, the biggest challenge for you, learning how plants grow. So it all depends. So I hope that answers your question. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles.